Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, June 9th, 2025. You've been told that walking, daily steps, endurance training, resistance training, yoga, one hit exercises, or sports like jump rope and rope flow, tennis, martial arts, etc., will keep you youthful and healthy as you age. They will preserve your fast motor units and fast twitch muscle fibers. But what if I told you that that's not only wrong, it's a straight up lie. Most of the people that do these are on medication by age 75, suffer from age-related diseases, chronic pain, and unable to move or generate the talk of someone half their age. If you think that that's healthy living, go ahead and skip this video. But if you want the truth, stick around and listen closely. Your nervous system is erasing your ability to move right now because you're not challenging it. It's called neural Darwinism. They die not from disease itself, but from frailty, slow, broken, and unable to fight back. So what in the world is neural Darwinism? Neural Darwinism was first coined by Nobel Prize winning scientist Gerald Edelman. He discovered that inside your brain, the neurons, the brain cells, are in constant battle with each other for survival. The neurons and connections you use are kept alive. The ones you don't use, bye-bye. They get deleted. They are pruned away permanently. It's called natural selection inside your nervous system. Only the strongest, most used pathway survive. And here's the crazy part. This pruning never stops. I'm saying this. Darwinism isn't just about how your brain develops when you're a kid. It's a lifelong competition inside your nervous system. Use it or lose it. And it's happening to you right now as you watch this video. Every day, your brain is deciding, what do I actually need to do to move, to react, to live? And whatever you don't challenge, your nervous system gets rid of. As you get older, as you age, neural Darwinism doesn't slow down, it speeds up. Your nervous system continues selecting what to keep and what to throw away. So how does it do this? How does it get rid of things and keep things in your, in your brain? Let me explain it to you step by step. First and foremost, every single thing you learn from child, your entire history of movement is recorded in your brain. And it, it is held there by things called motor engrams. Motor engrams is the history of your movement. Everything you learn, eating, walking, running, pull-ups, you name it. Ex any, any kind of movement you did is encoded in these motor engrams. Now, what happens with these motor engrams? Now, I'm going to explain to you because you, you hear a lot of guys saying, well, if you do martial arts, you do all these types of movements, you're moving, you're doing speed, and the, you will maintain your motor units. But the problem is when a martial artist reaches 80 years old, he moves just like any other older man. Everyone, every sport, every single people, every exercise, everyone slows down and I'm talking about when they reach in the 80s, everyone is the same. Why is that? Why? Why nobody ever questions this? It all comes from motor engrams. Motor engrams are registered in your brain. Whenever you, you do something, you learn something, they become registered in your motor cortex. They live in the synapses between your upper motor neurons and other parts of your brain. It ain't just the physical part that's recorded, your emotional part, the sensory part, the terrain, everything is recorded in different parts of your brain. But in the motor cortex, in the motor cortex is where your upper motor neurons are located. They are located in the gray matter, the cell body of the motor neuron and the axon that's connected to it is connected in the white matter, which goes down to your spinal cord. But let me get back to the motor engrams. Now, let's say today you are challenging yourself in an unknown terrain. You want to, you don't know what to expect. It's bumps, there's logs, you need to jump over. You don't know. It's, it's unknown. It's the unpredictability. So your brain pulls engrams from the past, any kind of movement you learned to try to bypass this unpredictable pathways so you don't get hurt. The motor neurons it's called dendritic inputs. They pull the information from the motor engrams, whatever you have in your brain, and 
it brings them to the motor, the upper motor neuron that are located in the motor cortex. And this is what creates an action potential. Now, mind you, these engrams get dull as you age if you don't use them. The neural Darwinism gets rid of them too. Or it does them, it weakens them. So the signal that goes into the upper motor, motor neurons also weaken as you age. But let's say it doesn't weaken. I'm just giving you an example. The upper motor neuron grabs the information, sort of ion channels open, and depolarizes the upper motor neuron, and voila, an action potential is created. But this action potential is called a cortical action potential because it's created in the motor cortex. This action potential now travels, it has to travel to your lower motor neurons, your motor, your lower motor units, lower motor neurons. This is how it does it. The axon connected to the upper motor neuron travels to the internal capsule, which is the white matter. And then it travels to the medulla, the medulla oblongata, where it meets the spinal cord. In your spinal cord, then you have what's called these pyramidal decusation. If you have to move your left side, the message is created on the right side, and this is where it crosses into the left side okay, of the medulla oblongata, travels down. Now you have four sections of your spinal, spinal cord, from the upper to the lower I'm going, the cervical section, the thoracic, the lumbar, and the sacral. Okay, each one of those sections moves different parts of your body. Okay, now, the action potential is traveling down what's called the cortical spinal tract. Cortical spinal tract. And it travels this way to what's called, I mentioned it in my last video, called descending drive. The action potential, by the way, it's not, it's one, it's not one action potential. It could be thousands, but they're not at the same time. They, they're like a machine gun fire, back to back. They travel, they take the, the train. Let's say they're taking the train through the tunnel. The train is the descending drive. They're in the descending drive coming down fast if you're young. Okay, now they go to the appropriate ventral horns. You have one on each side. And each section of the sp spine has a certain amount of ventral horns. For example, the cervical section has eight ventral horns on one side, on the left, and eight ventral horns on the right. The thoracic has 12 on, on the left and 12 on the right. The lumbar has five on the left and five on the right. The sacral has five on the left and five on the right. That's a total of 30 pairs of ventral horns, which 30 on one side, 30 on the other, which comes out to 60 ventral horns. However, there is another small section way below the sacral section, but it doesn't really move anything. It has two ventral horns, but they're not even worth it because they don't move anything. In the ventral horns, I'm not gonna go through the whole process. In the ventral horns, they attach to what's called glutamate. Glutamate transfers them to your lower motor neuron, and then it goes to your muscle. But I'm not gonna go through the whole process. I'm just trying to show you an example of what I'm trying to say here. The motor engram is where it all begins. If that weakens, and it does weaken, by the way, if you don't use it, you lose it. The information in there gets dull. That's where the signal for your muscles to move begins. If that message gets dull in the motor engram, neural Darwinism gets rid of it. And what happens? The whole process either disappears or weakens. And what happens when it weakens? Guess who gets it first? Your fast motor units, type 2X, type 2A. They get hit. And guess what? They get pruned. They get whew, gone. Bye. This is what makes you slow down. This is what makes people talk slow when they, when they age. They don't have that energy. You look at all the guys, I don't mean no disrespect by anyone. They, they talk slower, and you think that they're talking like this because they're more mature, they, they're very mature. Nah, it has nothing to do with maturity. Their entire body is slowing down from head to toe because of neural Darwinism and the dullness, the weakened motor engrams. Everything slows down. The cortical action potential now, mind you, there's two other, two other action potentials that are created before the muscle contract. By the way, all this I'm telling you happens in milliseconds. 
I mean, this is not something, I'm just breaking it down for you. Okay, now let me go back to the motor angrams for a second. If you do martial arts or jump roping or rope flow or tennis or whatever, whatever it is, if you do one sport, one exercise, it dulls out the motor engrams. It does not enhance them. The only way to make those engrams stronger, to keep them stronger, is to do the unpredictable chaos exercises. That's why I always emphasize, do care. I don't have a routine. I do different things every day. I never do the same routine twice because of this. I shock those engrams. I enhance them. I make them stronger. I add different moves. Because what happens if you keep doing the same thing? Martial arts is the same thing. Jump roping is the same thing. They become dull. They become dull. They don't grow. They don't get stronger. The signal stagnates. Look, you don't have to believe me. You don't, you don't have to believe me. This is proven science. Okay. Maybe you can look it up. Maybe you don't. Maybe believe me, maybe you don't. I'm giving you straight up the science of the signal. You could have all the fast motor units intact. You could be working out heavy, sprinting at that signal because you're doing the same thing over and over. For th and by the way, sometimes you take a year off, maybe five years off, six months off. And what do you think happens to those motor engrams? They weaken. And when you age, they weaken even faster. This is what 99.9% .9 of the people in the entire world, in the entire fitness world, are doing. That's why they move slow. That's why they have no torque. That's why you see 70-year-olds, 60-year-olds, 75-year-olds climbing a rope, doing fancy stuff on the pull-ups. Well, what is it that you don't see them do? You, so, you don't see them sprinting, cutting. Yeah, you might see the sprinters. The master sprinters, all they do is run a straight line. You don't see it. They can't get in a football field or on a basketball court and hang out with the young kids. They will show their age immediately because of the motor engrams. They are gone. The signal is not going fast enough. So it doesn't fire. The firing rates come from this. It's the, the speed of the action potentials that are going down. They slow down because... They are not retrieving the information from the motor engrams. Look, I just want to share this information. Please no one get offended because that's what I have been fighting all these decades. I have been fighting this. That signal, it's not just the motor units and the muscles. That's the last part. The first part is the motor engrams that you lose. And people have never trained them. And by the way, once you lose them, you lose them. There's no bringing them back. And they are dynamic. They are not static. They're not like a hard drive in a computer. They change constantly. So AGI or AI or stem cells, they're not cellular. They are neurogenic issues. Stem cells, genetic medicine, whatever you call it, regeneration, it does not fix them. You cannot get AI in the future or AGI in the future to plug into a computer. No, you can't put nothing on your head because they don't exist. They are living in your synapses, which constantly change. They are dynamic. There's no set record. That's the problem. You must keep these optimized. Power, speed, movement, unpredictability. Do all kinds of things that you never did before because the more you do, the more your engrams pick up. And by the way, like I said, it's not just the physical part. It's the emotional part, how you feel, the terrains, the sensory, the proprioception. Everything is recorded in one engram. You have a whole bunch of engrams, but you can create new engrams and you can enhance the ones you have. Use it. Or lose it. This is a fact of life. The motor engrams cause the chain reaction where you slow down as you age, you lose your power, you lose your fast motor units, and that causes a cascade of problems and what I call the beginning of the aging process. Anyway, 
Have a wonderful day. I hope maybe you enjoy this information. I do. I love it. I love it. This is why I move the way I do. Have a wonderful day.